NVIDIA? How do they always get away with this? Because on the one hand, we just saw the launch of the absolutely disastrous RTX 4060 Ti, but on the other hand, they just reached the one trillion dollar company club. Which just means that they don't have to care about us poor gamers who are just stuck with overpriced products. I mean, how is that fair? Well, it isn't. But in at least slightly better news, the RTX 2060 Ti launch was an absolute disaster. From pretty much no one showing up to launch events, to stores barely even stocking them in the first place, to them going on sale literally hours after the launch. Suffice to say that it's another big NVIDIA flop from this generation. And why wouldn't it be? Because it's essentially a 50 tier card priced at a much, much higher price point. So for gamers who can't afford anything better, is this just it? Have we lost the fight? Is gaming on the budget side just dead? Well, kind of. Maybe. But not really, because there is competition out there, and no, it isn't actually going from AMD, even though they do still have some decent budget offerings. The real competitor right now is actually Intel of all people, who are constantly dropping the prices of the existing Intel Arc Alchemist graphics cards. Intel, despite the many, many flaws of Intel Arc at its launch, have still managed to lit a pretty medium-sized fire under NVIDIA, and it's only going to grow when Intel Battle Mage launches hopefully rather soon. And while sure, the RTX 4060 Ti may be terribly priced, that doesn't mean it's a bad graphics card. And if this pattern continues, you can expect it to be on some really aggressive sales very soon. So it still might be worth it for you to pick it up if it goes on sale to say, I don't know, like $10. Or you can just be like me and, you know, just stick with a 1080 Ti for all of eternity. Anyway, despite all of the doom and gloom and Nvidia clearly caring less and less about the gaming side of everything, seeing how much money they're making just selling AI chips, that doesn't mean it's all bad, and as long as Intel keep on innovating the way they've been doing, and as long as these Nvidia cards keep on dropping in price because literally no one wants them, then in the end, budget gamers could still end up on top. But you know, hurling some insults at Nvidia is going to speed up the process, so still, feel free to do that. But let me know what you think of the RTX 4060 Ti launch down in the comments below, and while you're still here, make also check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki B, Justin Rage, Elar Roniak, Valosh Volker, Meg Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Lensby, and Level Up. Down there you're going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.